This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studio here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it is time for Mayhem Underground, otherwise known as formerly... The Mayhem Week That's right, and that's Mad Mike up there in Poughkeepsie, New York, the only one of the Mayhem Universe uh, guys with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. It's... it's, it's Things are going good in, in Lucha Land. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So I love so something. Of course, Fourth of July. You didn't watch it live. Um, I, for whatever reason, the Xfinity I have access to did not have it uh, as well today. Even though it gave me episode three a week early, uh, but I did not get re- uh, 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 episode four at all the next day. So I had to go buy it on iTunes. But it was fun because we both live tweeted and we were relatively watching it at the same time. I noticed today. Yeah, which is weird because I usually don't. Because I wanted to watch it last night, but for some reason my DVR was just like no lucha for you. So yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, I actually bought it on iTunes. We both bought it, so we both yeah. put our money. We put our lucha money in for this one, guys. Yeah, we support. We're supporting the, the lucha, the, the lucha world. And again, that's a way. I know there's something going on with Sling and Dish Networks right now, where they're battling, and uh, Lucha Underground, or at least El Rey Network, is not available to people on those platforms which is really really unfortunate so please you know you have itunes you have other places where you can pick it up uh please you know wherever you can support that uh or, you know i think i saw it's available on amazon streaming now too so is like it now have, so and that's like two, so two if you have prime mm, you should be able to see lucha i don't know about the prime not for new episodes usually maybe oh okay i haven't All checked right. it, but I, typically I, not i, I saw I didn't. I didn't investigate into it. I saw something that said uh, Lucha was available on Amazon. But it is. If you're missing it because of all this big kerfuffle, you can get it for about three dollars. That's nothing to toss out, guys. Uh, as far as I, I can, I can tell. So please, uh, if you're, you know, tweet or message or whatever, you know, the case may be, um, you know, to to tell them, hey, get 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 with the program, get your Lucha back. You know, and uh, get get on the ball with this stuff. So, uh, you know, that's it's it's and if you if you missed it, you haven't checked it out yet. This was a damn good episode. There's a lot happening, a lot of backstage or a lot of vignette stuff, which got me excited about things too. So it was it was really cool to see that uh, happening this week. Uh, I'm like, I don't know. What do you want to touch on first? Um, okay, I, I'm just I'm looking at Amazon so people can see. It. You can you can just buy the episodes on there. Okay. Straight or if up. you have, or if you have the TV season pass, mm-hmm. get it on there too. So it's similar to iTunes, mm-hmm. but you can get it on there now. Cool. Um, God. Well, Sorg, we have to start off the way we always start off. This. Oh, that's right. There is a yeah, format I mean, to this show. You're, a, you've hosted Sorg. this longer than I have. Sorg, we have a format. So, uh, Sorg, I'll ask you first. Qual is tu palabra para the lucha underground? Oh, oh, my my word. For this week is um, machine. It's a good word. Because, it's a good word because the segment was that was my this, that's probably my latest my favorite Cuerdo moment in in a while. Yeah, uh, Cuerno was all over this episode. And I loved Cuerno, it. Cuerno, I yes. loved it. Like he he really stepped up. He's stepped up so far. Um, my word for my uh, mi palabra this week is resurrection. <laughs> resurrection mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. um oh man resurrection sork <laughs> jesus okay uh so it's not sacrifice <laughs> i mean there was both so yeah <laughs> one of them had one of them had a tighter red dress than the other one yeah 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 wow she she changed like, outfits just like Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, all right, but Sorg, um, I know there's I know there's a lot to love on every Lucha episode, but mm-hmm. uh qual is too bueno. I, I would <laughs> I that whole segment the Cuerno segment uh, was yeah. was my favorite. Like the whole like chill in the office, Cage comes in and he's like he's like, No, I'm a man, he's a machine. 
Like, yeah. and again, we're still we're still informing uh, Antonio Cueto of uh, what is you know the landscape of what he's got himself into. Right, we're still mm-hmm. educating him as the new character, but then you know. I just love all the forced we have to do. He's not a man. He's a machine, you know, like, Mm -hmm. or, or like it it reminded me of the, the, the Johnny Mundo uh, cage in a cage, like with dramatic, horrible, dramatic pause. Just, it it just fits into that. And it it rolls right with the, the, you know, what we have going on here. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, me bueno is Matanza. (laughs) Just like, he went from just last week being beat by Pentagon kind of pretty easily. Mm-hmm. And now he's punching a random slab of human. <laughs> that was, again, striking visuals this week, right? Oh my I mean, God. between and- that, the shadow of the guy, and then he walks out, you know, and, and, and just the colors, like, it was, uh-huh. like the color pl- palette of this season is amazing, right? It's a, lot of, it's a lot of blues. Zack Snyder would be proud. A lot of blues, but even <laughs> just like like bright colors. I it I was it was very noticeable. Like when uh, Worldwide Underground was out, and yeah. uh, PJ Black pops up in the green. I was like, wow, they, there's a lot of colors to that. And then the next yeah. scene was like the pink going into the blue room where Cueto or where Matanza. Damn it, Matanza was was beating up some poor soul. Um, you know, I I I, I hope. That's just the body of Mr. Cisco. Oh. And it's just been hanging oh, just like, on a, like on a slab in the oh, ice house. No. It's just on ice, and he's just like, Cisco, Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like I, I and then poor, poor Mr. Pectacular. Oh, but this was like the first one of the first kind of supernatural things I remember happening in ring mm-hmm. like an actual sacrifice Which makes me think, like i'm thinking to like like the people in there when they do that mm-hmm. right because i you've you've been in an arena where they've done a lights out and appearance yeah, thing, right course, you, know, like, you, you see the people run in you know i mean and it's not as honestly editing and everything right so yeah, like like people just blew up <laughs> yeah well see that's a, that that's another thing about like the lucha fans like they buy in Mm-hmm. It's it's like watching Chikara. Like Chikara fans play along with everything too, and so do Lucha fans. It's, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, absolutely. All right, all right. But you know, not every show is perfect, as we know. You know, but so sort of Qualis to Malo this week. Man, I don't. I if Mr. Spectacular didn't get a fair shake. <laughs> That's my fad. I think Bobby okay, F. J. Town's okay. not going to be happy about that one. All right. Um. My, my oh, 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 sorry, I want to roll okay. back. We were just okay. recording Impact Therapy too, and I got to see a, a an early match with Brian Cage, and I believe Mister Spectacular, um, <laughs> and, and they just look completely different back then. Um, no, actually, there was two different matches I was seeing that had them. Yeah, but the but the, the Brian Cage is like half a Brian Cage in 2013. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, my, my bad this week. I I still want to know what we're doing with Swagger. With uh, the savage Jake Strong, yeah, like okay, I get he got his revenge on Big Bad Steve, Mm -hmm. and I I know it's early, it's way too early, and I'm sure something down the line is going to fix this, but as of right now, like I don't, I don't get it. Okay, I I just don't get it, and 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 it's it's building. Striker did really, really hard to sell him on commentary. Mm-hmm. Like Striker and Vampiro were working overtime to sell him on commentary, but I'm just like, this isn't the Jack Swagger I remember. Like, it's it's not like I need to pump the brakes a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I, and I'm sure it'll get better. It's only the fourth episode and it's only his second appearance. Right, right. Oh, by the way, Sorg, um, we should really. Call and wish famous be the best. We should, we should. Um, we, yeah. I, I figured we should probably do it on the air. I, I unfortunately, one of us is going to be able to talk at a time. So we, I mean, we can each give our own condolences if you want. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. So you know the number, right? Four, One, two, two, three. three. Get, get fame. fame. So and I, for those of you kids at home, that's four, two, three, 
438-3263. See, I haven't called this number yet, so let me let, let's see what 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 they have going on here. Do you want do you want to call it first or do so you want I'm going to call, call I'm going to call it first on speaker so you okay. guys can hear what's kind of going on here. That's 423. Get paid. I would tell you to leave a message, but the truth is, I don't really care. I've had this hotline open for months, and not one of you jokers have what it takes to be famous like me. So leave a message if you want, but don't expect a call back. I've got way more important things to do than to waste my time on losers like Mascarita Sagrada and you all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Oh, there you go. And oh, there's a beep. Hey guy, hey, uh, hey, hey there, uh, uh, famous B. It's a uh, uh, Sorg Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, from the Mayhem Underground uh, podcast, formerly known as the Midweek War, of course. Uh, and uh, you know, heard about your ailments, saw it here a couple weeks ago, and we're live on the air with the podcast. And I just want to give our condolences and uh, get well soon, and uh, and and perhaps a get fame soon for you as well. And uh, I expect to hear from uh, Mad Mike as well. Uh, so uh, good luck, good luck to you, sir, and thank you. Uh, I'll lucha on. I don't know. I needed a I needed an ender a button on that one. I don't think it worked out too well. So I don't know if Mike, you want to give your message as well. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, so why, we'll, why, we'll set why? up. But anyways, I, but we, you know, while you're waiting for the message to go through, and let me know when the beep goes on your end, and you can let us know when you're you're just going start into your thing. But I, I, it's been pretty cool to see that they've had this kind of interaction and i don't know that they we, we need to ask chris uh, uh de joseph next time they're off they've ever like done anything or listened to any of those uh voicemails that they do get in on that hotline uh to you know what do they do with it will they do something with it right at that point there's gotta be somebody who just listens to it okay all right all right, all right go, go ahead mike and you all thank you and have a nice day Hi, Famous B. Uh, this is Mad Mike from uh, Mayhem Underground, formerly known as The Mid Wake War. Um, just wanted to, you know, give my extreme condolences. Um, I'm sorry that Big Bad Steve and uh, uh, and and the rest of Infamous on Infamous Worldwide uh, just just failed you. And I, I hope you're recovering. I hope um, Brenda is being a good. Uh, help in this time of need that you have and i have no doubts that you will get um either dr wagner or tejano back back on the scene to go after the savage shake strong but uh keep 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 the good faith and we're uh we're fighting the good fight for you here uh famous me all right so um four two three get well <laughs> that should be a number <laughs> are we sure that's not the number they gave today I'm positive. Yeah, okay. I'm positive. Let's get fame. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was great. I love that they they added that little bit in there uh, mm-hmm. for the show, and, and hopefully they get some fun stuff out of that too. So, all right, where are we up to next? Uh, well, uh, I said my mall. You said yours. Um, but we also, you know, we we like to we like to we like to armchair book a little bit for Lucha Underground. We, we like do. To ca- we do. Go for their own head cannon. So sword right. because we know they're listening. It- of course, we literally absolutely. do. We we, we yes. know Vampiro uh, had some comments about you with his hair today. It's just weird because he's. It's like when Taker started growing his yeah, hair back. Yeah, that so, was weird too. Mad Mike tweets. Uh, it's a little. It, it, I still, I'm still not used to Vampiro with hair, and he says, "Get used to it, brother." And and shows a picture of him from back in the day with his long the long hair. And uh, to which I responded, "Man, I need to go watch some Sting Vampiro matches now on the network." <laughs> Um, but Sorg, if you could change something about this week's Luke Country Ram, what would your cambio be? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, what would I change? I would change. What was the last match tonight? Um, Cuerno versus Chavo. Cuerno Chavo. No, I wouldn't change anything about that. No, I wouldn't change a whole lot about that. I wouldn't change. I, I the sacrifice. I feel like the sacrifice needed to be a little bit more than a disappearing act. And I know, like, because it happened, it was announced, and it was pretty incredible that we've, like, raised the bar up to the, no, we're going to just fucking sa- sacrifice somebody tonight. Uh-huh. You know, yep. we've alluded to things like this in the past. We've seen it backstage, right. but we just went through down in the middle of the ring in front of the fans. 
hey, we're going to have a sacrifice. And also just seeing the fans just blow up like, we're going to have a fucking sacrifice, guys. <laughs> you know, it was pretty incredible to watch like that reaction. So, um, the, the, yeah, I, I, I think I would add something more than just a disappearing act to it. Maybe it has something to do with budget constraints or something, but uh, or, or maybe standards and practices. I don't know. Or like, hey, we can't have somebody be murdered in front of a live crowd. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, that, that's all I can think of, really. Okay. All right. I, I kind of hope that all the people that Matanza sacrifices, which I'm assuming there will be more, mm-hmm. come back as like a zombie troop to take down Matanza led by another god. Hmm. Like, like I'm thinking, I'm thinking Lord of the Rings. Maybe like the, they, the like you get the Valley of the Dead. Yeah, the like the gauntlet like summons them to, yep. to take them on or something. Uh huh. That could That's be fun. That's what I'm thinking. That's um, what I'm thinking. And you see like Big Rick come back, and this time he has two eyes because he's dead now, so he doesn't need an eye patch. <laughs> But you yeah. see, like maybe a little scar they put over it, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, he saw he saw us the scar, but he doesn't need the eye patch anymore. Like, okay. So, but, so what, what's your change? Um, me cambio this week. It's it's a very small one, very subtle. I wanted Melissa to be wearing that half a pendant while she was doing her announcing. Mm. That's what that's what I was hoping for. You got a little continuity problem there, don't you? I. I wouldn't say it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Maybe Melissa just didn't feel she she didn't want to be constantly reminded of Phoenix, That's which true. I understand. That's true. I can yeah. Or she might just wear it during the Millworth as cage match next week, which maybe, we're gonna get. Maybe. Which um holy shit, that match is gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have two mysteries. Yes. She's been handed the pendant, which we think has given um Katrina it, long it, life. It, it almost protects her from the temple guards, yes. Okay, that's, which was an that's interesting... A, that's a Legends of the Hidden Temple reference. Interesting, interesting handoff that happened there, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And we also have, who did Cuerno give the... Well, oh, well, we know that. Do we? Yeah. Did I miss that? We know that. Well, well I mean, we can assume. Okay. We can assume because... Uh, Cuerno said he gave the gauntlet to someone for safekeeping, yes. and he don't know where or when that person. Put oh, it. oh, so, oh so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Aerostar, at least I'm assuming, unless there's another time traveler, which I'd be on board with, <laughs> like the Doctor Wagner Jr. I'm okay with that. Okay, if we wanted to go that the route, doctor, I'm okay with it. The Doctor, the doctor Wagner. The Doctor Jr. who? Oh, the yeah. Dr. Wagner. Oh, okay. Yeah, Junior. <laughs> junior. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I'm assuming Aerostar put it somewhere. What I would love, and I don't know if we're going there, but in the in the preview, there is a shot of Johnny Mundo wearing the gauntlet. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, want, mm-hmm. I want to see if maybe Aerostar hid the gauntlet when reptiles ruled the Earth. And maybe Johnny Mundo finds it. I don't know. I don't know. That that's my speculation. That's my speculation because it definitely looks like he's still backdooring a Boom Two pilot into that's Lucha right. Underground. That's right. So I I think we I think we might be going there. I'd be surprised and ecstatic if we did. But yeah. So yeah, that's my change. I want to wear the pendant, but the but the gauntlet, God. I can't wait for that. I want to know who's going to be Thanos at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cisco. I don't want to go. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so, um, we, we, Sorg, before we, before we wrap up, we need to talk about um, Luchasaurus, Vibora, because holy shit. <laughs> He's a lot more agile than the last time I remember seeing him wrestle. Yeah, yeah. The mask, you know, it, it doesn't seem as goofy to me with a new mask. I like it. I like he it. He also has a beard. Yeah, yeah. The beard helps. The beard uh, helps and a to lot. see him destroy an entire faction was kind of fun. So, uh huh. Um, I love Although the. No, no Jack Evans. No Jack Evans. So he didn't destroy all of Worldwide Underground. Well, Jack Evans got- went off on his own, I think, a little bit last week. I don't know if it's going to be an ongoing thing, but. Uh, Okay, but like it felt like they were separating him a little bit, didn't it? Okay, yeah, a little yeah. bit. He he might be end up feuding with Ricky Mundo. That's with right. His Valley of the Dolls stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be something else. Entirely. Which apparently is a real place. Wait, really? 
Yeah, I was reading um, Brandon Stroud's um, article on Lucha for last week. Yeah. Yeah, the Valley of Dolls is a real place. Oh, no. And real trip. Well, yeah, seriously. Actually, it, I think it's close to where Missy is. You should tell her to go visit. Oh, bring shit. Back, She's heading up. Back, I don't know. I just, a souvenir. I just got a message that she's heading up to the mountains and won't have any service until Saturday. I'm like, what? <laughs> all right. I guess she's so. The Valley of the Dolls. I guess so. So, all right. <laughs> On that note, Mad Mike. It was fun. It was fun live tweeting. Larry watched the episode with me today. He was enjoying it. So, Excellent. yep. So, it was it was good. It was a good uh, uh season 4, episode 4 of Lucha yes. Underground. Yes, indeed. Very excited by it. And that I can't wait for next week. Cage and Muertes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, please sign me up. Uh, and, and there's a poll. I don't know if you it's expired already, but there's a poll out there you put out. Who has oh, the yeah. most glorious hair? Mhm. Uh, yeah, the the options are Johnny Mundo and King Cuerno. There you go. Because I believe they're both valid options. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, Mad Mike. You are for Mad Mike 48A3 on the Twitters. Yes, indeed. And if you want to see either of our live tweets, uh, go to Ad Mayhem Show. I live tweet the hashtag MM and Sorg live tweets with the hashtag Sorg Mode. Oh, I, I was just hashtagging Sorg. I'm I, I, I oh, okay. going to bring that back. I forgot about that. Thank you, everybody. Until next week, this has been your Lucha, I'm sorry, your Mayhem Underground, formerly known as The Midweek War! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.